Hello guys, this is your December reading. Yes, I'm late. Got a lot of things going on. Um, I will be back in a few days with your mid-month readings. Let's see what is going on with my Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces? Let's see. What is the energy around Pisces currently? What is the energy around Pisces? Three of Wands, Aries energy. You guys are feeling kind of fiery. Um, you know, you're, you're not you're not jumping the gun with things is what I'm feeling here um, and you're not settling for less you're actually waiting on someone or something that you feel like you deserve in your life okay um, you're not shorting yourself anymore is what I'm getting here I feel like a lot in the past you guys have really kind of put yourselves <clears throat> on the back burner for other people and I don't see you doing that currently okay let's see what's crossing Pisces what's crossing Pisces three of cups hmm I think you're going out and you're doing you and if you're not there's a need to okay go ahead and just be you know light-hearted airy um, uh, social have drinks with friends, you know, and, and that way you kind of open yourselves up to meeting new people and meeting people that actually vibe with you and are wanting the same things that you want. Okay, so that's what is crossing you. I see you waiting on what you deserve, <coughs> but I see you doing um, a little too much waiting and not really being that active in what it is that you, you are trying to draw into yourself. So use more of your magician energy. Use whatever wits, whatever um, talents, or whatever, um, what do you call it, um, the things that you're good at. The things that you're good at. And 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 I know that Pisces a lot of times are very um, intuitive individuals. And, um, you know, you can wear your heart on your sleeve sometimes. And I think that's probably why you're not really like, you know, just diving into social scenes. Because you're kind of afraid of, you know, things occurring that have occurred before that you didn't necessarily like or felt were um, beneficial to you. But I don't think that... Um, uh, you draw in who you are. So the key, I, I believe, for you is to just be confident in who you are and the things that you want, the things that you desire, and the things that you need in your life. And I think you will draw that type of person towards you. Anything other than that will fall to the wayside anyway. Okay. So I think you guys need to get out a little bit more and enjoy life. Okay, guys. <clears throat> What is the underlying issue here for Pisces? Underlying issue for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe some of you have been single too long. Um, maybe you have been out of the, the dating realm for a while. Um, and, and really don't know how to get your feet wet and get back in. Okay. I think that maybe um, you guys have it going on is what I'm feeling. Uh, and, and, and I can relate to this. I'm not Pisces, but I can relate to this a little bit because um, I haven't dated in a while. And I have grown accustomed to being single. And, um, and I'm trying to get my feet wet and it's kind of hard, but I mean, I can definitely relate to this situation. Uh, there's nothing that you need anybody for. Okay. So anybody that comes into your life at this point, um, you're allowing them in strictly because you want them, not because you need them. Okay. And I get that. That's Virgo energy there. Let's see my recent past for Pisces. Four of Swords. Yeah, you've been resting. You've been hibernating. <laughs> trying to figure out, like, you know, what your next move is. Because this Four of Swords comes off the Three of Swords. You know, you guys have been disappointed a lot um, in the dating field. And you've been hurt, possibly betrayed, um, involved in three-party relationships. Because, you know, we have two threes here. That is a possibility. And um, some of you are just afraid that, you know, you may, be, may get burned again. You know? And so, <clears throat> you've taken some time for yourself. And I think you've gotten comfortable 
in that time. Okay, definitely I can relate, like I said. Libra energy there. Crowning thoughts for Pisces. Two of Pentacles. You guys have a lot going on. You have a lot going on. You have a lot of things that you have your hands into. Um, you may be like, you know, really involved in your work. You may be really involved in your family. Um, just doing some volunteer work. Just a lot of other things that, that keep you um, busy and your mind occupied you know and so now I think you're having trouble kind of fitting in you know this dating scene and and, and doing that and getting involved and getting out there dating and things like that um, but I definitely get that you have a lot going on here and a lot that you're involved in and thinking mm, I don't know if I have the time for that <laughs> got a lot of shit going on Danny G <clears throat> Let's see. What's coming in for Pisces? Capricorn energy there. What's coming in for Pisces? Eight of Pentacles. You guys still working, working, working. You are working diligently. I think um, at this point, you guys are really like more focused on obtaining things material things maybe buying a home uh, moving into a new home getting money um, and just living traveling and all that other stuff and not really that focused on um, a relationship you may say to yourself yeah I want to date and I, I think that's why this three of wands is here because you do want to date um, right now I just don't know if you feel you have the time for it because I see, you know, you guys are working really hard to maintain your livelihood, um, to maintain the people that you care about, like your kids, your family, um, your responsibilities. Okay? Again, Virgo energy here. <clears throat> Got your nose in the books. Some of you have gone back to school even. Okay? How is Pisces viewing this situation? The moon. You're just not sure about it. You're not sure how to maneuver through this newfound singledom, I feel, and how you feel about it. Because sometimes people can be single and not really want to be single for real and are not comfortable in that. But I feel like you're comfortable in that. Um, but you are definitely open to dating. I don't think you're at, you're like, you know, just throwing yourself into dating though. Okay, so I think you don't really know how to feel about your situation. Um, you've been single uh, long enough, you feel, and you're open to dating. <clears throat> but um, there's still a lot that you have to work out. Okay, how do you really feel about it? You know, what if things don't go the way that you uh, want them to go? Just all kind of, um, uh, you know, unknowns for you. Okay, cancer energy there. What is the influence here for Pisces? King of Wands. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. There's a fire energy here. There is a fire energy here that is observing you. I feel like this person um, definitely wants to date with date you. Wants to work with you. You probably know this person. This could definitely be a past person. Um, but I feel like there's somebody that really wants to um, join with you, okay, and build something with you. Build a legacy together. They're eyeing you very strongly here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. And maybe you're waiting on them to let you know, to tell you so, that that's what they want. Because I feel like you guys are always the ones to like, you know, bridge the gap and make things better. I think you're waiting on somebody else to do that for a change. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Pisces. Hopes or fears for Pisces. Huh, that you won't know what to do. That you won't know what to do. Hmm. I think you won't be able to cut through the bullshit is your fear. That you won't be able to discern whether or not somebody is telling you the truth. Whether, you know, you'll really know what's good for you. 
uh, Scorpio energy. I also feel um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy there. Let's see overall outcome for Pisces. What is the overall outcome for Pisces? Two of Swords. You're still going to be right there trying to decide what to do next. Okay, you have two twos side by side. So this is all about making a decision about your priorities, what's best for you, and being able to see things clearly. Okay. So I, I'm getting that, you know, for the remainder of the month or for this month in general, you're still going to have a hard time seeing things clearly, seeing things, um, making a decision about what it is that you really want um, and whether or not you will be able to discern when somebody is feeding you bullshit or not. Okay. Again, Libra energy. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.